Hey, Mari, I got you fudge in real life. Is this a bribe? It's, you know, I women like chocolate, right? Hey! Welcome to the Block of Love Mansion. Five bachelors will compete for the heart of one lucky snaggletooth she-man. Let's meet everyone. I'm very excited to see who I'm gonna marry and spend the rest of my life with. Well, what the f is happening here? Does anyone else see this? <laughs> Why are you swimming in the door? Uh, seriously. You need to understand, Wes, this is not how to Superman a ho. Superman that dough. Superman that dough. <laughs> ah! Contestant number one. Hey, trap music beat when I'm coming out the truck. Trap, trap music beat when I'm coming out the truck. Hello, I'm Flitzen. Nerds Worthington, the first. Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, that sounds fancy. Uh, I uh, currently dance at bar mitzvahs, but I really hope to someday bring gangsta hip hop to Broadway. Do you have a line for me? Uh, I don't do drugs. <laughs> so. Wow, I'm in love. Wait, you meant line like pickup line? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant cocaine. <laughs> when I first got out of the big ass limousine, I was like, damn, that's a big ass house. And then I walked up to the chick and I was like, yeah, she cute. Contestant number two. Hello there. Oh, wow. My name is Max. Max, real name. <laughs> and I'm a cereal box designer. Oh, God. And I cannot wait for the opportunity to murder that booty. <laughs> I'll see myself into your house and closet. I mean house. <laughs> <laughs> my first thought is that she will do nicely. Yes, very nicely for my purposes of, of, you know, finding a mate. Or, or yes, yeah, whatever this show's about. Contestant number three. Hey girl, you're pretty good for a flat chick. Jesus. I'd really like to <laughs> block you sometime. Hey. Are you drunk? No. You smell like puke and whiskey. No. Wait, did you say there's whiskey inside? Sweet. Uh, <laughs> what the shit? Hey, hey, hey. Free house, free booze. I know what I'm doing first. Contestant number four. Hello, my name is Jonathan. I am a baker slash taste tester. And my, taste test my pickup you. line for you is, I hear you like to put things in your mouth. I have something very sweet for you. Here you go, it's a cookie. Oh wow. I'll just start with putting this in my mouth. Yeah. Thank you. I have seen other seasons uh, of, of this show before, and I just, I thought that, you know, I'm surprised she doesn't have all of her teeth. Last but not least, contestant number five. What's up? Uh, uh, hello. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, hey, you, um, you got something in your tooth? <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a snaggletooth man, but, you know, every woman is a beautiful flower or something. That's what my mom says. Do you know where they keep the steak, by any chance? Uh, in the fridge? Aha, yes, thank you. Thank you, sir. Whoa! This is a big ass place. Is this your place? Uh, yes, this is my mansion. Wow. Uh, I'm very rich. Wait, really? Is it a trust fund thing or did you earn it? It's more like an ABC thing. <laughs> wow! Do you have any rooms that are soundproof? Whoa, what the? Uh, Why is that yeah. guy flying? Be because that's my butler, and he, whenever he feels like there's a little unsafe situation, he seems to fly <laughs> in. Unsafe? Unsafe? I just wanted merely to get to know you better, to speak one on one. Hey, dibs on Alice. Oh, hey, there's rooms already laid out for us. I see Joven's room up here. Oh, damn! Trampoline room? What? Don't mind if I do. Wait, there's a trampoline room? Oh, yeah, we bouncing. Wait, oh man, I'm coming to the trampoline room. What floor are you on? I'm kind of bashing my head into the ceiling like every time. This place is a labyrinth. Hey, Flitz, what do you think of this place? This view's pretty awesome, right? Yeah, it's a nice, like... Hey, guys. What the f***? Hi. <laughs> God damn it, Wes. <laughs> oh, Max Real Name's room. Yeah, that's me, Max Real Name. This is really weird. It's like uh, a woman petting a sheep. Get out of my room! What? Oh, oh Jesus. This is a private place. Out, all of you. Oh, I'm sorry. Sage, yes? I just want to say, I think it's awesome that uh, you took on so many strippers as servers. Yeah, like this guy's Subaru. 
you and Alice, I don't know, ever gotten like lonely together and like shared a bottle of wine? We don't talk about Alice. Okay. Oh, hello, my lady. Oh, hello. I like that you call me your lady. Yes, I wanted to thank you for the fine chamber. Perhaps you could show me around the, the room you've prepared for me. Uh, I'm glad that it's, uh, it's nice. Max, you know, he really likes to get me all by myself. And if he wants to smother me and, and, and do that, that's totally fine. And, you know, he's killing me with kindness. That's definitely, that's for sure. Does anybody yes, if you else just, want to come in If and you could just step inside. Max, real, it, you know what? Oh, someone's calling me down the hall. Hey, uh, my team <clears throat> is saying that there's someone that was spotted in the woods, maybe a criminal. It says villager news. Can I can I see this man spotted in woods? That's clearly not me. Okay. I mean, why would it be? I would. would. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of other dudes here, and I'm not really about that. You know, I'm not trying to fight over some chick that's banging a bunch of dudes. Who am I kidding? I'll hit it. I'll, I'll hit it if she asks. So, you know, I'm not gonna seek it out. You know, I'm not desperate or anything. Except for maybe some chicken. Do you have you seen some some chicken around here? Maybe. Oh! Yeah, get off the table. The it's not suit. polite to be on a table. I, I'll be right back, boys. I have to go to the ladies' room. Yeah, you my, should. My, my breath is... Yeah, clean that um, up. The other bachelors, fools and imbeciles, all of them. Why, I wouldn't be surprised to learn that horrible accidents befell all of them. Especially that one that's drunk. It seems completely plausible that he would have some horrible misfortune befall him. Laser corn, why would you design a suit that looks like it has blood My name all over is Max. It? Oh, Matt, I'm sorry, Max. Max, real name? You obviously know nothing about fashion. This is all the rage in Milan. Your shirt kind of smells like real blood, though. Uh, also, the rage scented shirts. <sighs> the newest a little fashion me time. I need a little uh, me time. thing that is sweeping the fashion world. My smells like cake, so I know what he's talking about. This butler, um, is he always like around? Oh, Alfred says hello. Uh, uh, Look, if you right click him, he says hello. I mean, if you talk to him. Hey, does anyone know where the uh, the beverages are? Oh wait, are these the beverages? Oh wait, what the hell? Sorry to make you boys wait. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I would like to make a toast to Atomic Underpants. She's the most beautiful snaggletooth that uh, I've ever seen. And I look forward to seeing even more of her. Thanks, my name is Sage. Oh, Sage. That sounds like a stripper name. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's, I didn't get something to yeah, toast with. Yeah, this is a potion of weakness. <laughs> yeah, no, it's making me weak in my knees. All right, have another one then, there you go. You know what? What the hell, I'll drink with you. Whoa. Let's do it, let's party. Do you guys have any food around here? Is there any food I can eat maybe? I'm pretty hungry. Can I give you this? What? Here's a little cookie for you because, oh, thank you, you know, you've been so nice to me. Yeah, this is good, thanks. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go eat it over here. I, I noticed that uh, that uh, she gave the cookie I gave her away. Yeah, that, that kind of frustrated me a little bit. I, I spent a lot of time and effort making that cookie. It was a very special cookie and she just gave it away to the guy who I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure is homeless. Where did you cast these people? My lady, yes, perhaps you'd like to talk to me. Your skin is, it's so very soft. I bet you'd make an excellent robe. Robust model. <laughs> a, a model of, excuse me. Did you just call her fat? <laughs> nope. Just a heads up, guys, don't drink the potion. Why? Are you uh, sick? Yeah, nah, man, not good. Where is the bathroom? Oh, is somebody in here? Uh, Occupado! Occupado! Okay, oh, oh, geez. Oh, no. Did you? Oh, no. No, he's nothing. No, I just, uh, I'm shaving. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I want to look good for you. Oh, God, it smells. That I, wasn't oh, me. God. Get uh, me out of here. That was oh, the guy God. Before. Oh, God. Have you ever been downwind of a volcano? Because that shit smells like sulfur, straight up. I see what you're doing. You're demonstrating oh, your, your skills of becoming a husband. Yeah, I can cook. I love cooking. I can cook as well. I'm excellent with a knife. What's your favorite dish to cook? Human beans. It's like Hunan beans. It's a, it's oh, an Asian dish. Oh, like a spicy dish. Yeah, it's mm. beans. I'm a spicy dish. If you're talking about the stuff that came out of your ass earlier, yes. That wasn't me, that was someone else. I have a question about this land, uh, cause there's a lot of it. Oh yeah, this is all this is all mine and it could be ours. Has there ever been or have you considered growing cotton here? Yo, you got a pool. I had a feeling that's where you, you were going. <laughs> Don't forget. I'm a free spirit, I love going in pools. Diving board. Take a look at my, uh, my dive, ready? Woo! 
Oh yeah, that was actually pretty, you did a little spin, that was yeah. cool. Man, this place is amazing. Not only is there a trampoline room, but we've got this giant ass pool and a diving board going into it with real life hops. What else could you ask for? I could ask for another drink. Barkeep, another drink. Are you looking for the cotton area? Come with yeah. me. I have this great ancestor, Eli Whitney. You may have heard of him. Is that the guy that won the Super Bowl? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at us. We've oh, hey. gotten oh, caught up hey. in the cotton. Oh, oh, uh, oh no, Max. What? Oh, sorry. Look, hey Sage, at least one of these dudes is gay. That's what I was thinking. I'm I mean, that's sure. the only reason why, at right? At least one. My strategy is find out who gay so I could call him out because you know they just here for the dough and not for the boote. You see, I rhyme with gay with boote. One showed up in a pink suit, another showed up in a purple suit. It could be one of them. The one is, he seemed like he's not really interested. I'm thinking he might like the dingus. Hey. So I noticed you're in my room. What are you doing back here? Oh, just you mixing you a drink, good buddy. Hey, purple man. Hey, Purple Man, look, look, this is, I'm gonna attack, I'm gonna I'm I'm work it out. All right, Sage, I'm gonna figure it out for you. You ready? Hey, Purple Man! Yes. You gay? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm oh, not okay. gay. He's a hand gay. I'm attracted to women. I was checking, I was looking out, you know what I mean? Looking out for you, make sure. Cause one of y'all, I know one of y'all! What? I'm not. Trampoline room! <laughs> <laughs> Spectacular. Oh, 360. That was well done. Yeah, that was more like that was like a 1080 almost. How did you spin? I got a lot of practice uh, uh, in my mom's pool. Do you still live with your mom? Yeah, I visit. I visit for like extended periods of time. Every day I visit. <laughs> that shows that you're a kind, kind man. It shows he's a mama's boy. I mean, this place is huge. It's great, man. It's a big upgrade from the uh, my current living situation, which is uh, much less spacious and it has my mom in it, and she's always bitching at me like, get a job, find a woman. I'm like, what do you think I'm trying to do every day, bitch? So I'm curious, why the Bachelorette? Like, why a thirst trap instead of, you know, like apps? Oh, you're really trying to get deep here with me, huh? Oh, I go deep, you know what I mean? <laughs> Cue the music. It's been... One week since we got to see cheating lovers and cousins that marry. Are you Three quoting days. Weird Al? He's doing a Weird Al thing. I was listening. Cue the music again. It's been... One week since we got to... Stop it! Stop it! Stop what you're doing! My God! I will cut out your vocal cords. What? What? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that is Sorry. extremely... Seemed a little aggressive. I just, extremely violent. I just wanted to let the lady speak. Right. That's all I wanted. What's your real name? Max, real name. Yes, you guys, someone remembers, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Max, real name. Cue the music! It's been eight months since the accident. Whoa. Things haven't been the same. What are you looking at? So that's what happened to your teeth. I've been trying. <laughs> it has nothing to do with my teeth. I like the way they are. It's changed no, me a as a person all over the place. I see people. I see connections, but I can't seem to make them. And it's probably just because I'm that special. What? Sorry, let me recap real quick, because I'm not 100%. There was an accident, and now you see connections everywhere. Like a psychic? Well, I went through a change between then, but yes. What what sort of change are we talking here? Like a sex change? Like a What's that? It's lunch? All right, let's have lunch, everybody. Uh, yay, lunch! Lunch sounds great to me, let's do that. Can we maybe have a chat over here for a second? Oh, yes! Yeah, uh, absolutely! Here's my main issue yes. here. If you heard me earlier, you still got a little like spinach or something. There's something green oh, God. in there. I, I, no, I, no, it's okay. I, you can, no, no, it's a, but let's talk for a second, just for one second over here. In okay. fact, I can get it, I can get it out real quick. There we go, we're Whoa. good. Now, hey, did you just punch her ass in the mouth? No, no, hey, <laughs> look, I'm trying to have a chat over here. I mean, but you, I just, all right. All right, she ain't complaining. Hey! All right, so. Hey, I'm girl. It was about a minute ago, right? You said lunchtime. And I'm looking around. 
Oh my gosh. You're gonna cook for me? Oh, I'm ready. No, I was I am wondering so ready. where the food was. I'm gonna go stand over here, get <laughs> ready for my husband to cook for me. Um, not, not husband. Prove yourself to me. So, I, I mean, I can cook, I can cook. You know what they say, the most efficient way to a woman's ass is through her stomach. Put some bread in the oven. You like that? You like a bun in the oven? I do. Put the buns in the oven? If only I could. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, what? Wait, you said you, if only you could. Do you not know how, like, to bake bread? Oh, um, not, not yet. Are you infertile? Actually, um, can you, can you bake the bread for me? Yeah, I'll put some in the oven. I got you, girl. Look, if you can't put a bun in the oven, I will. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I believe I He's do. He's talking about babies. I was just making sure you knew. Oh, hey. Oh, your colors are just I didn't realize you were in here. I was just searching through the pantry to see if you might have any other food. Were you looking for wine? Ah! Dessert and wine after, I love it. Uh, I couldn't help notice that your kitchen is devoid of any cutlery. Oh, we like to keep everything safe. The butlers usually do all the cutting. Ah, so they would have access to the cutting utensils. Yes, but it's in the armory, which is uh, locked up. Like swords and stuff? I would love a tour if you get the chance of the of the place where all the weapons and armor are in. Well, you won't be able to get in because there's a full body scan that needs to happen with one of the butlers. So all I need was a body. Which is a just, just my lady. Of course, I would never invade you. Yeah, excuse me. Will you uh, interest me in a dance? Interest me? Ah! You would like ah. to be interested in a dance? <laughs> yeah, follow me. Uh, okay. What a glorious ballroom you have here. Funny, because I too have some glorious balls. These are all of my Beauty and the Beast dreams coming true. Tail as old as you. Hey, you gotta dance with me. I'm leading here. Sing beauty bees. Do 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 do. do. Joven and the bees. sage. You guys wanna hear a joke? Sure. Your mom's so fat, this room used to be smaller, but the bitch stretched it out. Ah! That triggers me. I have a lot of stretch marks. Oh, I like stretch oh. marks. It's from the accident. Where are Nine you looking? Nine long months ago. Stretch marks are like a map of experience. Thank you. No, thank, thank you. Thank you for saying that. I find they ruin the material. I mean, skin. They ruin, they, they're unseen. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys notice this Max guy is always excusing himself to other locations? I have irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> See, it was him. He was the one that stunk up the toilet. We watched you come out of the bathroom, no, so man. Ah, uh, yes, I frequently have to excuse myself. You know, um, irritable bowel syndrome is, I guess, what I went with as an excuse. Because it's the truth, of course. Not because I was trying to quickly cover up something I said. In hindsight, uh, I might not have revealed that about myself. Hey, hey, Sage, is there anywhere to get some sugary treats? I don't know, but you could probably put some sugar on this chicken. I'll put some sugar on you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wowie, whoa, whoa. whoa. That, that got me pretty excited. Excuse me. Okay. I, I think that my first interaction with her on the porch went pretty well. She uh, got a little heated. I, I, I guess not in a bad way, but in a good way, and had to had to leave. Uh, I think that's a good sign. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that whole thing happen. It was weird. <laughs> Gotta hide this boner. Oh my god. <laughs> Man. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's time for part one of today's challenge. Each of you must write a romantic letter to Sage. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying are you saying Mari will be reading this book? Yes, that oh, is the this point. Was for Personal use. I'm th let me just delete some things. Guys, I'm having a party in my room. I finished my note early. Anyone wants to come can totally come. Oh, I want to go to the party. Oh, no. What's going on? What's going on? I know that I'm supposed to be working against these guys here, but come on. We're having a great time. We're dancing, we're listening to music, we're swimming. We were hanging out and hold on, I'm just gonna just gonna nom on this pork chop real quick. Mm. It's important in, in these situations to to bond with everyone and make them feel like they're your friend. That way, you know, when you beat them later, maybe, you know, they can fuck off a little easier, you know, and, and leave me my space, which is now this space. I'd like this all to be my space. Have I been clear about that? I wanna move in and not be in my mom's house. 
Have you seen any mutton around? There might be some mutton. Guys, it's going to be awesome being in this house. I hope I can stay here forever because yeah. it's pretty dope. You might just never leave. <laughs> yeah, that's kind, of, that's kind of my goal. Yeah, I like you. <laughs> yeah, yes. You have the right idea. It's time to give Sage your love letters. Thank you so much. And also, I, I found these crumpled up notes uh, left in the hallway, and I thought you might want to look at these as well. Crumpled so. up notes? This first one is from Craig. Dear Sage, your house is really nice and spacious. The food is good. You seem all right. Want to <laughs> <laughs> Dearest Sage, I hope this missive finds you well. I cannot stop thinking of your soft, supple skin and the way it calls to me. I long to whisk you away to a sandy beach far from all your responsibilities and distractions and witnesses. Do you guys think it's a little creepy that we're all just up here on this ledge staring at her through a window? I, I didn't even know you guys were there. <laughs> to the majestic sage, I should be honest with you up front. Is upfront one word or two? Anyways, <laughs> I digress. I'm a very guarded person and afraid to open up to people. Thus why all the drinking and vulgarness. I hope you give me a chance. I would love for you to penetrate my layers. P.S. I think Max may be a murderer. He's got those crazy eyes. <laughs> Hey Sage, you got a dope place and seem real cool. I can only imagine the stress of the situation, so I'm gonna keep it chill. In any relationship, friendship is much better than ownership. I'll be the homie, my goal ain't getting the cheeks. But if it happens, best believe I'll be writing my name on that cervix. Oh. Ew, wow, Whoa. how do you do <laughs> that? Genetically. Uh, Dear Sage, I've enjoyed our time together thus far. I hope I was not too forward earlier on the porch. I have a habit to just say what is in my heart. I'm excited to get to know you better, and I want to serve you my special treat. James. Wait, I thought his name was Gret. I don't remember his name. P.S. I think your snaggletooth is cute. Aww. Now I have these mystery ones. I think you're dumb, and I don't like your house. Craig. Also, I'm gay. What? <laughs> Craig's gay? That's perfect! Maybe he knows my secret. Oh. <laughs> I'm one for murder in three countries. Max. What? No. <laughs> Is that? I would never admit to, th I mean, write that. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say that they're sabotage letters, but who would be writing this? Why did I target specifically Craig and Max? Well, Max creeps me out. I, I just kind of want him gone. Craig, Sage has been giving him a lot of attention and he just seems to kind of be ignoring her, so kind of want him gone too. These are the two people that I just don't want to be around for too much longer. Now for part two of today's challenge, Sage will ask each of you one question before deliberating for the rose ceremony. Who's, who's farting it up over here? Who's stinking it up? Someone's stinking it up. All right, bachelors, I read all of your letters. I've got questions for you guys. Okay. Flitz. Hey. What is your ultimate definition of friendship? The ultimate definition of friendship is un, uh, what's the word? Unequivocal, no, what's the word? Unequivocal? Unequivocal, no. It's the word. Unconditional. Love without Unconditional. anything else. Unconditional. I don't use conditioner because I don't have hair, so I don't remember that word too often. <laughs> um, Makes sense. It's unconditional love and appreciation of a person for who they are, not for who you expect them to be, while you see that they are their greatest potential in them. <sighs> All right, wonderful. Next question. You mentioned your profession. What sort of cereal boxes have you designed? Uh, you've heard of Lucky Charms? I have. Right, well, not that one, uh, <laughs> but a, a knockoff. It was, uh, Cucky Charms. It was. Oh, wow. It's, um, <laughs> we cater to a very specific niche. Well, one other question for you, Max. Yes? I like attention. I, I, I love having a lot of witnesses and a lot of people in my life. Yeah. How do you feel about that? If you like being around other people, I would never begrudge you that. I just, I certainly hope something doesn't happen to all the people in your life. I certainly wouldn't want that. Why are you spinning around in circles when you talk, No reason! Man? Uh, Joven, if I were to have a substance abuse problem, how would you deal with that? We would do it together. Does that mean, like, we'll always party together? Yeah! Your sins are my sins! Now that skin are sin- wait, no, that's not right either. Whoa. 
Okay. Skins of the flesh. That's what. No, sins of the. That can't be. Skins of the flesh. <laughs> sins of the flesh. <laughs> not sure if you were doing it a bit or not. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jeff, or yeah, was it Philip? If you had to describe me as one dessert, what would it be? You're like a, a hot fudge brownie sundae. It's er all the desserts you could want in one. Mm, good answer, good answer. Craig, yes. where do you see us in 10 years? I mean, I'll probably be here still, as this will all be mine and my house. Ow, ours. Hey, wait, why is, why is Laser Corn just lurking around behind couches? <laughs> lurking, no, I'm sitting. Sitting like a normal person. Oh, All right, bachelors, I go. must go deliberate. Well, she out, I got a question. You know what I mean, between us, who gay? What? 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 One of y'all gay. Statistically, what? one of y'all like to gob the knob. Oh, I ain't got nothing against homosexuals. I got homosexual homies. This is just a strategy. Yes, I'm aware of Blitz's accusations. If you ask me, it's a bit of the pot calling the kettle black. That's not a race thing. Maybe he's religious, and maybe he's not okay with himself because he's gay and religious. He's probably a Catholic. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They think I'm gay? Good. I'm gonna let them think I'm gay because one of them gonna slip up and they be like, hey dog, I think you're real cute. We should go in the bathroom and play swords. And I'm like, got him. I wonder which bachelor can I see myself with for the rest of my life? Who could it be? Is it the friend type? The one that I know that I can dance with? Or do I go with the guy that's so closed off? He must have gotten so hurt in the past. He wants to start a family and have children and live in this house forever until we die. But then there's the drunk who seems to really want to open up to me. Or do I go with the sweet guy who just wants to cook for me, who sees me as fudge? Or do I go with the guy who just wants me for all himself? He doesn't want witnesses. He doesn't want people around. All he wants is me. So who do I go with? The friend, the romantic, the drunk? The sweet guy, or the slightly possessive but kind of cute guy? Hey guys, uh, do me a favor. Everyone sit down in a seat. We're going to play a quick game. Duck. Oh. Duck. Duck. OK, I don't duck, have to run. That's good. Duck. I'd like to stay in this seat if I could. Goose! Oh, son of a bitch. All right, I tagged <laughs> oh, you. That was so fast. <laughs> All right, no, it's your turn, so thank you. Oh, I have to duck, duck, yeah. goose. Uh, goose. <laughs> just see me like oh no, dude. I guess I have to sit down again. <laughs> Duck. Sit down. Ow! Goose! Oh, son of a <laughs> <laughs> Look, stop running around the table. <laughs> yeah, you <made> it. <laughs> it's time for the rose ceremony. This is it, guys. The first night Woo! of the rose ceremony. Party! If you get a rose, it means that we have a future together. Woo! Yes, forever. And if you don't, it means that We'll still be friends. <laughs> the first rose goes to a man that I think I can share fun times with and also deeper conversations on the couch and just kicking it. So the first one goes to the drunk. Woo! Oh, I got a rose! He's farting and, and drinking. I didn't yeah. fart, that was someone else. I you did. Yeah, I got a rose. I'm in love. I got a flower. I got a flower. This is what love feels like. I never needed my mother's affection as a child. I now have it in a reality show based on a YouTube channel. Woohoo! The second rose goes to a man that I think that we can share not only intimate times with, but fun friendship times with. The second rose goes to Starman. Hey, friends with benefits, King of Roses. Thank you, girl. Imbecile. Did you say a missile? No. I'm actually super duper happy I got a rose. You best believe if she give me the chance to molly wop them cheeks, somebody gonna walk away bruised. <laughs> it ain't gonna be me, you know what I mean? Kapaya yow, like that, you know. The third rose goes to a man that I don't quite know just yet, but so far he's been kind and sweet. Pink guy. Yay! Greg, Philip, <laughs> you with the pink suit. Thank you. Mr. Pink. Unfortunately, I only have one rose left. 
And this rose goes to somebody who might change me in a way where I can open up even more. Craig, I, I want to give this rose to you. Oh, cool, whatever. Man, I thought I was knocked out, which, uh, you know, whatever, but then I wasn't. So also, also, I guess, whatever. Hey, do you know if there's some bread around here? I've had a lot of meat. I kind of want some starch on the side. Eh, this potato's starchy enough. This'll do. Max, I'm sorry. We can still be friends. Foolish harlot! You've made a terrible mistake. I was going to grant you a swift and painless en engagement. <laughs> Uh, but, but now I guess that'll never happen, so it's, excuse me. Uh, he's always excusing himself. Yeah? I told you, it's because he was Irritable ball place. syndrome! <laughs> oh my god! You know, with Max, I thought it was really sweet that he wanted to get me alone all the time. I, I don't know if I can procreate and have offspring with a man who has IBS. That means that you're going to be holding your butt, scooting through everywhere. You can't go to parties in West Hollywood like that. No, no, no. At the at the end of the day, I just can't. I can't do with the butt holding. Quite frankly, I'm furious that I did not receive a rose. All my meticulous planning dashed to ribbons. However, the producers have informed me that I will continue to function as an advisor on this program, which might suit my machinations even better than I originally anticipated. Do I need to hold on to this, Rose, or... Like, you're gonna take care of this, right? You can scrapbook it. That's what I would do. Right, yeah, scrapbook. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> uh, there was no book. That was just scrapping. I don't know if you understand... Okay. I can do roses! Uh -oh. I got it! Hope you guys enjoyed our first episode of Block of Love. If you guys want to check out our last series, the entire playlist for the Christmas craft is over here on the left, and YouTube has curated something just for you over here on the right.